Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's the door here. <laughs> um, let's just say something. Um, today, the King Eternal Monarch is supposed to come out, but it is not out yet. So, and that is because um, in Korea they actually decided to put Contagion, the movie Contagion, in the time slot the which is supposed to air the king in there instead of the king episode 13 today so yeah i will be watching episode 13 tomorrow instead anyways um i need to really clean this room because it's actually really messy there we go Okay, so this is a huge mess. Oh wow! I didn't even play with like my spire film. Okay, so this guy spired December 2019. It's unrealistic to take a picture like what one, two, three, four, five. Like I, it's un it's unrealistic to take 50 exposures at the same time. Okay. I will leave that there for another day. I've been saying that for like a year. Ew. Oh. That is the word. So, I kind of did a little mini cleaning, but now this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys all the cameras that I have behind me. I don't think I've done that before. I think I, I did like a camera collection. So this is kind of probably be like another camera collection. But um, I just want to show you guys what I have behind me whenever I film these videos. Um, all the cameras that I have on my shelves. So first things first, we got the Instax Mini 8 which the battery compartment broke off. Then we have the Olympus Infinity Stylus. Then we got the Kodak Breeze. Then we got the Kodaka C35, which I was gonna make a video of and I still have the footage of, but I actually couldn't really take a picture with it because the light meter compartment, battery compartment right here, <clears throat> compartment right here, I can't access the battery. So if I take a picture and if it's too dark, if it's too bright, I won't be able to know. So I have not been able to play with that yet. Um, then I have the Instax SQ10 and then I got this Canon AF35M, which I have not been able to play with yet, but I did thrift this. Um, I can't remember where I thrifted it, but I did thrift that one. Um, and then I got the Fujifilm Instax SQ20 and then back here I got the Instax Mini 70. Right here I got the Diana Mini. Um, I I do have a video. Oh, maybe I should post my next video about this camera. It's an old video footage of me playing it with it and stuff. But yeah, I can definitely post you post some pictures about this camera. Um, and then and then we have the Minolta Hymatic Seven, which I have not played with yet. And then onto my shelf. Lomo Instant Automat, Player Jardin, which I got for my birthday one year. And then also the Lomography La Sardina, which I also got for my birthday. This one is the Polaroid Land camera that somebody had painted yellow. Um, it's supposed to be gray, but they painted it all yellow and it does not work. So I just leave it here. And then I got the Pentax Acai. K1000 back here, and then we got the Pentax MG back here with no lens, just the body. Then I got the Canon EF back here, and then I also got the Lomo Fish Eye, which I've already played with when I went to New York. 
Oh, this is the charger for the Leica Sofort, which does not work. It's just there for display. Then I have this quad lens camera, which I actually did take to New York and took pictures of when I went to the Blackpink concert. Mm, not a really good idea, but mm, whatever. And then I got the Browning Reflex. That does not work because it does not have the bottom compartment. I can't really play with that, but it's cute. Move that there. And then I got the Konica C35 EFP. Nice little camera. I think I might have taken pictures on this one. Yeah, I did. I took pictures on this one already. And then here I have the Lomo sprocket rocket which lomography gave to me thank you lomography and then i have the holga 120s with the instant back on the back um if you guys don't know what this does is actually converts your holga into an instant camera but this instant camera thing does not work so it's been sitting here um, i bought it for like 50 bucks the instant back and this Holga camera I bought at the thrift store for 99 cents. And this one just came with the instant back. And then next we have is the Polaroid land camera, the one step. This might work or it might not. But it's really loud. It squeaks and it squeals and yeah. And then here we got the Olympus and Stylus, Olympus Infinity Stylus that I actually I already used. I took pictures, one picture when I went to New York and then some other places. Um, then I have all of these like film cartridges that um, came with instant or that came with cameras when I took them out. Uh, and they've all, all been exposed because when I opened them, the film was still inside and it got exposed so they're pretty much useless they're they're really for just decoration and then i have this freedom vista qd which takes panoramic pictures i took this camera to new york and honestly it's a really solid camera i really like it it's a really nice camera it takes really nice um panoramic shots then i have the pentax iq zoom 700 i took this with me when i went to san diego yeah i took this with me when i went to san diego san diego again a really solid camera i just think that um the yeah this shutter thing kind of somewhat does not open all the way um it doesn't open all the way so sometimes when you take a picture um you will actually be seeing some of this in your picture Turn that off. Okay, and then I also have the Pentax PC35 AF. This is like a military grade camera. It's made of all metal. Um, really like it. It just doesn't take that nice of pictures. Um, maybe because it is really old, but um, yeah, it is a really solid camera. Literally, it is a solid camera. It's all metal. Here we got my, in the box we have the Polaroid One Step camera that I did a comparison with when I went to New York. I actually bought a Polaroid Instant One Step at Urban Outfitters and I did a comparison with this camera. Um, and then we got the Spectra camera that I thrifted, used that already, made a video of, of it already. Then we have the talking camera. And then we have the Polaroid Sun 600, which I already took pictures of when I did that one video with my friend. Um, and then we got this camera, Infinity Junior, which I actually have a roll going on in here right now, but I have not finished that roll yet. Um, um, yeah, like on the first exposure, I think. And then we have this Canon SureShot Max, which I really like takes really good photos and it's really 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 easy to use then we have oh wait I have this camera what's inside what is inside of this pocket let me try to take it out all right so we got the Canon AF 35ml kind of sort of the same as the Canon AF 35M this is just the 
AF35ML. Does anybody know the, f the freaking difference between the two? Because I don't. Um, other than this one, the handle is flat, and this one here, the handle, it, it's like this. And the handle here is flat. Yeah, okay, so there's this one. Both of them are made in Japan. No! Okay, so this one is actually made in Taiwan. The AF35M is made in Taiwan. And the AF35ML is made in Japan. So, here's this one. I think I have film in here. I don't know. Okay, the flash definitely works. I think I was going to take this... No, I took this to Seattle with me and I was going to play with it. And then I totally forgot all about it. So there's definitely film in here. And whatever I took, I took a picture of something. Okay. And then I have the Lomo Color Splash, which is a really good camera. Um, I really like all of the flashes. Um, I've got to say, though, when you take a picture on the red flash, it looks more pink. And I thought it was going to look red, so I, I avoided using it because I thought it would make my picture or the people in the picture look really evil. So I avoided using it, but when I got the the photos back it looked pink and it looked so cute and I only have like two pictures of that so there's that a film development canister this is for um, singles so so I actually thrifted this for $2.99 but I didn't use it yet oh, I, still have a receipt. I have not been able to use this yet because all of my pictures are actually roll film but basically what you do is like with the strip, you would slide the strip in here and whatnot and you would put the chemicals inside through the top and then you would shake it and do it however you do it. When did I buy this? September 6, 2019, like two years ago when there was no pandemic. Alright, the Fujifilm Super 28WP. I also thrifted this one and... I regret not using it yet. It's such a nice, pretty, pretty, pretty camera. Like this. Such a cute camera. I have not used it yet. But it does come with the original battery. I should be playing with it though. Two books from Time Life. <laughs> I thrifted them. Um, and it's just basically about cameras and film and just really interesting. Like this literally shows you okay, how to develop a picture. Um, got that. Um, this one talks about the camera. So what goes into a camera and this to me looks like a, oh, what is the name of that camera? I always wanted this camera. It has like an overhead viewfinder. So basically you just hold this to like, oh, a waist, 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 waist length. I don't know. And that's what I really want to have, a waist viewfinder. So basically you don't have to look through the viewfinder. Um, you just basically hold this below your head your waist or whatever and you can see through it which is really nice so that you can take really low, low shots. Einstein? Oh that's Picasso. Oh my gosh I'm so stupid. A Nikon F3. This is a Nikon F3. The camera that I've always wanted. Um, I do like Leicas though. Okay, somebody send me a Leica if you have any. So down here on the bottom, we got my Polaroid Lab that I have right here. And then these are all just like the boxes of the cameras from up there. So I got the Fujifilm SQ6, which is actually somewhere not here right now. And then, ooh, what's this camera? What's this? Oh, it's my Olympus Infinity. Okay. 
do I have foam in this? Mm, I don't think so. It says, oh no, I don't have foam in this. Okay, cool. And then I have this Instax Mini 8 that I think it works. I leave little papers inside to tell me what it has. Flashing light. Broken. Okay, I guess this one broke already. Two others right here laying down. See, and this is why I think the Instax Mini 8 just sucks. Because look how many I have that are just broken. Um... Ooh, here's a camera bag. Oh, by the way, I bought this at the Goodwill Outlet. Beautiful camera, guys. Look at it. Look at this. My mom literally thinks I'm crazy for, like, buying all this old technology, but I think that it's pretty cool. And here's some more specs on it, and you guys want to give it a try. DCR. TRV240 is the model of the camera. And now I have this whole box of cameras that I've thrifted. And I've been leaving it in here because I have not had the chance to play with them yet. I thrifted last year when I went to the Goodwill. Wow! I have not been able to use this camera yet. I probably won't be able to use that in a while. Uh, then I have the Canon Z15 caption. Looks like it's still on. Yeah. And then I have the Canon Owl Sure Shot. These are like really like common cameras that you can find in any thrift store. Like they're like your they're your basic thrift store camera. <laughs> okay, and this is the Fujifilm the Zoom Date. 20, 60 EZ. So really nothing special about this. Freedom 101. Minolta Freedom 101 with a broken flash. Canon Sure Shot 60 Zoom. Never used that one. Oh, the Yashica. This actually does come with a waist viewfinder. This is really interesting. Watch this. The only thing with this is that I think the battery compartment is broken. Yeah, the battery compartment is actually broken. But I was so excited when I got this camera because look at it. Can you guys see it? Yeah, I was so excited to get this camera because I've always wanted a camera with the waist level viewfinder. The waist level viewfinder is right here. Beautiful camera. Only thing though, it is kind of sort of broken. So these are the cameras that I should use or I already have used, but um, I don't want to try them out quite yet. So I'm leaving them in here. And these are the cameras that I want to be using. Um, here is the AF35ML. I already have film in this camera. And there looks, it looks like there's film in this one too. But this might be just film from when I had bought it originally. 
And then I definitely want to try this Yashica AW Mini. Um, just because of the viewfinder. Gosh, I love this viewfinder. And then I also want to try this Infinity Junior since I already have a roll of film in here. And this is probably Agfa Vista. Agfa, Ag, something. I have film in here. I have this, which I don't really use since that camera actually broke already. Stinking Instax Mini 8 broke, so I don't really need this. I'm going to throw it out along with this. I'm not throwing it out. I'm giving it away to the thrift store, okay? Ew. And this is a black pink bag that I got last year. Dude, I'm a hoarder. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of these. They're like empty film cartridges, and I want to recycle them. Okay, so Polaroid Originals actually posted this video. Okay, so... Alright, so I got this. This is from the iType film pack, so it doesn't have a battery, but it has this piece of paper that you can use. You can recycle it, and you can use it and write little notes and stuff like that. And then this is just like aluminum or some sort of metal, um, probably aluminum. Uh, I'm just going to throw this right into my recycle bin along with this one because this is also plastic. Yay! I'm going to recycle those. Let go! I finally know the reason why, yeah. I'm never really satisfied, yeah. Looking up a parrot. Okay, so actually with these, I like to keep the one with the battery so that I can test out my, um, my film cameras. So let me show you guys. Okay, it works. Ooh, it's loud. It's very loud. Without you by my side, imagine I walk through your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Cause you, you really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. side of the room okay so I put all the cameras that I want to be using here there's a box um, and this is like a just a cup a boba cup from t-bar and I put like pens and scissors and whatnot this camera I actually need to get the photos developed I took the pictures last August I think um, for my friend's wedding and I forgot to develop the photos so I need to put that there. I need to fill that. That is a light box. Underneath, I have all of this stuff, okay? Is all the pens that came in the photo albums from when um, Threesome Life gave me all their albums. So I have all these pens here. And I also have all of the with photo stickers that I have here. All of the batteries that I need to go recycle. Yes, I leave it in this ratchet bag. And I'm gonna have to go recycle this someday. I leave it all in there. 
And then these are just some cores. This is one for my, what is this? DJI, DJI uh, Osmo Pocket. And then the other one's for my iPhones, but I don't think this one actually works. So that. So all these boxes I have on top of here. My camera box. These are just more camera boxes and stuff. And this is a rig. My photo albums and albums that I ordered before I got the Through Some Life albums. So this is for the, the square film. The Fujifilm Square. This is for the Fujifilm Square film. This is for the Fuji. This is for the Fujifilm Square film. These are shoe boxes. That is oil paint, and I do not like that oil paint. It takes 50 years to dry up. And this is just more shoe boxes. And let me show you what's in here. Okay, so I ordered this album before I got my Threesome Life album. So basically, this is just a photo album for Fujifilm stack wide film or Polaroid film because it's big enough to fit them and I just really like how um, compact it is and how much I can fit into one album. So I changed the garbage can with the garbage bag and there's actually garbage in here that has been in this garbage can for like two or three years. About the Boldak Bokumyon Carbo. This is that same packet. So this has been like, what, two or three years? Um, there's nothing in here except for like packaging and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, this is the Metro card from New York last year. So I've washed my hand and now I threw that away. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my filming room, y'all. I don't know why, but I have a murdering spider here that murders all of our the ants in the house and it always likes to kill the ants here. There's so many ants. Look, those are all dead bodies of ants. I should vacuum it vacuum it or something. Really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. I found the spider. This is the spider that killed him. You see him? He's crawling away. I see you. I see you, spider. Oh, hi, Jack. <laughs> we put this on Jack's head because he likes to lick his paw a lot. So we like to put this around his neck so he doesn't lick his paw. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> hi, Jack. <laughs> For the final review. Um, oh, but look at this. She's a no more dead ants. Everyone's got a shelf over here. There must be something that I got this shelf over here. Right here, I have all of the cameras that I plan on using in the future. Um, along with the Polaroid Lab. And there's a cup of pens and brushes and scissors and whatnot. And right here I have like my baggies and my um, phone tripod mounts and stuff. Um, and this right here is a screen that the company gave to me but I've not really used it that much. And then here I have my shoes, which is my bands that I've just kind of sort of organized. And then over there, we still got my BTS Love Yourself poster, and I really need to change the battery into that in that clock. Right here, we got a Pusheen, the cat, and my pink bear, and this is just my hat, and this is my shelf with no K-pop albums, and the only K-pop thing I have on there 
is the black pink light stick that I got last year when I went to the black pink concert in New Jersey. Down here, this is just all of my K-pop albums that I've left down here. Um, I really should find a better place for them, but I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry, BTS fans. You're up. BTS's album is just under here for now. Uh, I just need to find a better way to store it, but there was an earthquake last month, or a little over a month ago, and I'm just afraid my albums will drop again, which it did before that, so I'm a little bit hesitant, because occasionally we still get like aftershocks and stuff like that, so to be safe, I'm leaving the albums down there for now. That's a little messy, but what can I do? It's just all chords. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for today and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me clean up my messy room. If you guys like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Adios! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about a feature